Hi everyone, this is Naomi and I'm going to do the A Canada Book Tag and it's all about Canadian things and finding books that fit the prompts of like that are about Canada. I really enjoyed watching a couple of videos of these so I decided just to give it a shot um, and see what I could do. So Jessie's Shelf, I'll post her video down below or link it below. Um, she came up with this and it's really great. I really love all the prompts so we'll just get straight into it. The first question is, what is your connection to Canada? So for me, I am a Canadian. I was born and raised here. Um, I currently live in British Columbia. But it's, yeah, I've had a lot of fun living in Canada. I've been to almost all the provinces. I am only missing Newfoundland and Labrador and the three territories. So it's fun to see how beautiful Canada can be. The second question is to read a book with a red cover, like our flag has red on it. And so I have gone with The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane. Um, as you can hopefully see, it has a lot of red, kind of orangish, but I think it's red enough. Um, and it is about a young, like I think she's 15, 15-year-old um, 15 girl in China who has a baby and has to give her up during the one-child policy, even though she is not held to that standard. Um, and it's about her journey and her daughter's journey in North America when she's been adopted. Very, very good. The next question is to read a book with a white cover, as that is our other flag color. And I have gone with The Sister to the Wolf by Maxine Trottier. Um, this one is about, it's set in New France, so before it was renamed. And this one is about this girl and her father who come across a slave auction. And in it, they are selling out, selling um, First Nations, and her, she and her father buy one in order to give him a better life and to not, to save him from someone else, basically. And so it's about him and their family experience as they grow together. It does have some romance between her and him, and it's great. I can't remember their names right now. It's been so long since I've read this, but I definitely loved it, and I loved how it showed the country back then. The next one is maple syrup, a sugary sweet OTP. So there aren't many sugary sweet OTPs for me, um, but I really do love Juliet and Dossie from the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. They're just, they make, they make your teeth want to fall out. <laughs> I think they're just so adorable um, and I love the format so you get to see through the letters and not always through, you know, he said this in this way or she said that in that way. It's very, very good. Very well done. The next one is poutine, a, glu a guilty pleasure read. So for me, a guilty pleasure read isn't something I'm ashamed of. Um, it's more something where it's like, if I'm feeling low or if I'm like, I really need to read my stack of library, of library books or TBR books, but I just want something to read that's easy and quick for me. And that is definitely um, these romance books, the Love Inspired series. I have a bunch of them and I like gobble them up. I finish them so quick and they're definitely what gets me out of a slump but they also are just so they're heartwarming and they're definitely not my literary fiction um, book club books but I do really enjoy them and so they're what I read when I am needing an escape from my TBR and if I'm feeling guilty for not reading my TBR I'll read these. The next one is Canada's diversity. We're very diverse um, and I've actually noticed that someone else, someone else mentioned, um, books like Woe specifically mentioned that Canada refers to diversity in terms of, um, not like religion or sexuality, but in terms of like our race or our, where we come from, um, historically our ancestry. And I thought that's very true. And that was the, literally the first thing I thought of when I picked this book for it. I'm like, that is a nice diverse book and it's true. And it is. Indian Horse by Richard Wigamees. So, yes, it is. he is very different from me, um, as he is Aboriginal, but it was very well done. It made me see Canada some, in some ways in a whole new light. It also magnified what I knew of things, um, but it definitely was a sad book to read, but a good book to read. The next one is Lacrosse, an epic battle. Now, I don't read a lot of fantasy. <laughs> um, I just don't tend to pick that up a lot. Um, but I did decide to go with an epic battle of wits. Uh, so I chose The Count of Monte Cristo. This one 
is such a beautiful addition. I love these additions, although the pages are really thin, um, so it looks a lot smaller than it is in some ways. Um, but I think this is such a great one. The battles of wit, the battles of the mind in this are crazy, and it's worth every page of that. The next one is the um, Tenth Provinces. What's the tenth book you read this year? And so that one, it was The Child Finder by Renee um, Denfield. De De Denfield. I, I got an e-copy of it from the library. And basically I picked it up because my name's Naomi. The main character's name is Naomi. And do you know how annoying it is to find a challenge? Like, to fulfill a challenge or read, this, read a book with the same character, with a character who's the same name as you. That is awful. <laughs> I never can find a Naomi book. I am resorting every time I find that that challenge. I resort to a Ruth from the Bible retelling, or the Book of Ruth, because there's nothing else. Naomi does not exist in books. So if you know of any Naomi books out there, please let me know because that comes up a lot. I find and it's very frustrating. But. I found that one because her character's name, the main character's name is Naomi, and it's called The Child Finder, um, and it's about this woman who basically goes around looking for children who are missing. It was not really mysterious as it was creepy, you know? Um, it was very interesting. It wasn't perfect, but I am interested to read more of the series, as well as, I don't know, um, because her name is the same. I'll probably pick up more just because I know that I can read that for my name challenge. But if you know of any, please let me know because I would love to know any other name challenges. Now the next question is the three territories. What are your top three books of all time? Now that one's hard. I did do a top 10 video. I'll link it below if you want to see all of them. But I'll just give you a quick, a quick glance at some of the books that are on that list. So on that list, I have The Alice Network by Kate Quinn, Persuasion by Jane Austen, and The Language of Flowers by Vanessa Diefenbach. And over there, you can find out why they're so amazing. But I really do love these books. Now, the last question is color. Oh, not the last question. Second last. Beaver. What's an annoying but important character? Now, I feel like I might get shot by the Agatha Christie community, but I don't really like Hercule Poirot. Um, this is one of his books, this is one of his series, The ABC Murders, which I do enjoy all of his mysteries, but I just find him a little annoying. He kind of pushes a button in me, maybe it's his smugness, that's the same kind of reason why, like, Sherlock Holmes I enjoy, but he's just a little annoying, you know, and I think, I know they're meant to be that way, um, but I don't really like it. So... Hercule Poirot, he's interesting, but I don't really love him. He's definitely pushes on a little annoying button in me, but I do appreciate all of what he is for the books. And I think that it's a good choice. It's just a personality choice, if that makes sense for me. So then the last question is to, to, for colorful money. And I love that we have colorful money. Um, name or show some colorful books. So a lot of the books I own don't have like mass amounts of color on them. The Language of Flowers has a good amount, um, but like I don't have a lot. So I was figuring, why don't I just show you my rainbow of Agatha Christie books? Because I just think they're beautiful. So this is my rainbow of Agatha Christie. Um, I think that it's just so beautiful, these editions. They really stand out to me and if I find them in any store I will buy them as long as I can because they are gorgeous and they're so cool to see in color rainbow style so yeah those are my colorful books in a way although they are not individually colorful as you can see there's Hercule Poirot's Christmas which was really good as well and the body in the library so they stay with their own color but I love how they look together so the last, very last prompt is to say A, because we always say A, right? I don't notice it in myself, but I do notice it in some others. So maybe it's just something I don't say, or I just don't recognize that I say. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this tag. And I tag you if you want to do it. Um, I will actually tag Megan and Hannah, since I know you love tags. Um, and then 
I will also tag Sarah Hannett as they're all Canadians. So let's enjoy it together. And I hope everyone else will do this tag too. I will see you next time. Bye.